All February, 19 News has recognized black Americans who made a historic impact for culture and in society. And we've also celebrated future local leaders who are shaping the black existence today. But this month also serves as a time to highlight problems that have been a stigma within the black community for generations mental health. Well, earlier this month, I spoke with two black men who were in Cleveland as part of their city to city tour called Just Heal Bro. It's all part of creating a safe space for other black men to speak up and heal their minds. I think for the work that we're doing is helping brothers to understand that they're not alone. Feeling helpless and silenced. That was family therapist Dr. Jay Barnett in the early 2000s. His lowest point ended in not one, but two attempts to take his life. Fortunately for Dr. Barnett, he survived, but the number of black men and suicide rates are staggering. According to 2018 stats from the Department of Health and Human Services, the death rate from suicide for black men was four times greater than black women. Part of the problem, according to Dr. Barnett, is the history of black men being encouraged not to show emotion. To sort of demystify this stigma around, you know, that we have to be so stoic and that we can, you know, just take pain and that we can just take the trauma and just take everything and keep it bottled up. Several factors come into play. The history of mistrust in doctors, not just among black men, but African Americans in general and the lack of male black therapist. In 2018, the American Psychological Association cites 2% of psychiatrists and 4% of psychologists in the U.S. are black. I think it begins with our relationship with the health care system. We are looking at a um, epidemic that no one has ever seen with the suicide rate steadily increasing amongst black boys and black men. So there are not enough clinicians and there are not enough therapists. Let's be clear that this is not a narrative that all black men are broken. Actor Lehman Rutger is an advocate for mental health among black men. He teamed up with Dr. Barnett and the three other panelists on the tour to help defeat the stereotypes. Even if the man is damaged, if that man does his work, his son will be further along, you know, in his positive development. If you didn't have it, for you to learn what's important so that you can, you know, share it and give it to your peers. As a father of three boys, how do we communicate with young boys? It's uncles, it's teachers that we know, as it's coaches, it's other men in the community. There are countless examples of what positive, you know, image, imaging looks like. Boys have to see it, we're, 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 we're visual. Um, I think they have to see men actually saying, I don't have the answers and that's okay. I need help and I'm going to go get help. That's the best form of communication is for it to be modeled out. From silence and helplessness to finding a safe space to talk through feelings and emotions. It's something today's black man is recognizing and embracing, shedding past fears and ridicule and opening up to new possibilities of engaging in dialogue, all for the sake of sanity. We are black history, <laughs> right, right? Black history is in the making. All of that that happened before, it's also part of us. It's in our DNA. Those, those spirits, those ancestors that were here before, their lives, their brilliance, their magnificence, it's embodied in all of us. So all of the, the past is here, but some of the past can be left behind us. The best of what was there is still here through us. We are the present, and the work that we do now will impact what happens in the future. To learn more about the Just Heal Bro Tour, you can find that info on our website, cleveland19.com. And if you or someone you know is struggling with mental illness, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline by dialing 988.